what I have discovered here after a hundred, not a hundred, one year of searching is a true Wesley Willis keyword. Some may say this is the equivalent of a Stradivarius in the keyboard world. And the settings that he used. This here, applause, why isn't applause sound effect can be heard at the beginning of many songs, notably Spin Doctors. And most of you recognize this church bell from the song, oh, what was it called? Um, Lake of Fire. I don't believe he used the other three settings, so we're just going to ignore that. And then, of course, the one finger playing mode. At 160 beats per minute on the folk rock one setting, you'll probably recognize this song. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is the exact one he used for songs like Rock and Roll McDonald's because it sounded a little different to me at least. And then if we can hit a minor and put this in the, uh, what is this, B minor, we go. From the song, this is what I'm trying to recreate right now is uh, I Whoop Batman's Ass. Now, one of my favorite tracks by Wesley Lewis, of course, is, if I can turn this up, Vampire Bat. As too fast, wait, wait. It takes a little bit, it took me many, many hours to master his technique of one finger playing. Now, if we go over here to the actual sounds, he actually did make use of a couple of these, mostly just the effect, sound effects. Like, at the beginning of the song, the gel tones from the album Machine Gun Kelly, he uses this sound. Before he says, hello, who's this? It's the plumber. And then this weird fret noise sound is used in the song, My Mother Smokes Crack Rocks. And he just sounds like he's just hitting it randomly, so... I don't know if he used this helicopter sound effect, but it sounds like something he would probably use in one of his songs. The gunshot. Now, where is it? This is just more random sounds he would just throw into the songs just to... Well, no, he never used that. I don't know why I picked that one. And besides that, I believe in this heavy metal... Well, we gotta go back to the one finger setting memory, and this is how you get it all set up. He used this on a couple songs. I'm pretty sure he used this on Larry Never's Walter Budson. If I slow it down... Wait. No, not Larry Never's Walter Budson, but a different song that sounds so much that. But you'll recognize it by the ending. I have gone through almost every setting here, and as far as I can tell, those are the only ones from this keyboard, the KN2000, the one he used for a lot of his earlier songs, the ones featured on like the Greatest Hits album, uh, were from the Technics KN1200, which also had an effect that I was really looking forward to using that, that I realized wasn't actually on this keyboard, which is the harmonizer like that he used in Elvis Presley, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and all those songs. Besides that, this is all there really is to this Wesley Willis keyboard.